The simplex algorithm has been applied to a certain linear problem and three optimal solutions have been reached. X1 is 2105, X2 is 3024, and X3 is 0, 0-6, 3, and 3. We are asked uh, question A, determine all the optimal solutions. Qu question B, determine the optimal solution or solutions with the highest first coordinate. And C, determine the optimal solution or solutions, the first three coordinates of which are equal. So we uh, start with question A, determine all the optimal solutions. As we know, if we have more than one solution to a, a linear problem, uh, there are infinite solutions which are in the convex envelope of the solutions that we know. So we must, must calculate this convex envelope. This is defined as those points calculated x as lambda 1 x1 plus lambda 2 x2 plus lambda 3 x3 where all the lambdas belongs to 0, 1 and they at 1. So we must calculate those points written in this way. So we replace x1, x2 and x3 and we have that this is to lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 comma lambda 1 minus 6 lambda 3 to lambda 2 plus 3 lambda 3 and 5 lambda 1 plus 4 lambda 2 plus 3 lambda 3. So all the optimal solutions of this problem are calculated in this way where lambda i belongs to 0, 1 and lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 at 1. These are all the optimal solutions of this problem. In question B, we are asked for the highest uh, first coordinate, which is 2 lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2. Remember that lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 is 1 and all the lambdas belong to 0, 1. So lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus, uh, sorry, lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 must be values between 0 and 1. It's easy to see that in order to these expressions, this expression is the as highest as possible, um, as lambda 3 doesn't affect it, we can, we must take lambda 3 equal zero. And now as lambda 2 has the highest coefficient, we need that lambda 2 takes its highest value. So we should take lambda 2 equal 1. Finally, as lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 must be 1, we need 
that lambda 1 is 0. So the solutions with the highest first coordinate is 3 times 1 minus 6 t and 4. You can also answer this question taking, taking into account that we are solving the problem maximized to lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 subject to lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal 1 where the lambda i must be greater or equal than 0 which is a linear problem. If you introduce this linear problem in the program WinQSB, as usual, we get the solution x1 equals 0, x2 equals 1, and x3 equals 0, where the variables are lambda 1, lambda 2, and lambda 3, which is the solution that we got uh, thinking just about this coordinate. Finally, question C is to determine the optimal solution or solutions, the first three coordinates of which are equal. So we must find all the solutions such that this coordinate and this one and this one are equal. So I write 2 lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2, which is the first coordinate, equal the second one and also equal to the third one. And finally, as always, lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 is 1. Remember that the lambda i must be values between 0 and 1. If we solve this system, we get, we find that it has only one solution which is lambda 1 equal 3, lambda 2 equal minus 3, and lambda 3 is 1. This solution, which is the only one, doesn't verify the condition that lambda i must be a value between 0 and one. So the answer would be there isn't any optimal solution such that the first coordinate and the second one and the third one are equal.